Hello and welcome to Air Film Mixologist, the place on the internet thingy where the little differences start coming to light. Case in point, this this carbs here that I've got, and this is a Delorto DHLA, and this is a Weber DCOE. So what I am going to do in this episode is I'm going to run through what are the similarities, what are the differences between these carbs. Uh, what bits I like about them, what bits I dislike about each model. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start bringing you, um, bringing you a bit closer uh, to the units and then I'll start going through all the areas of the carbs so you can see the differences. Okay, so first of all I think it will be better to start with the outside of this unit and I see I see as you can probably see from from the um, from from the images here they have both the same spacing so they would fit any the, the manifolds uh, for these units are, are totally compatible so if you have a Weber manifold you can fit a Delorto carb if you've got a Delorto manifold you can fit a Weber carb no problem so and also up to a certain extent the the trumpets the the spacing here is the same so you can the the trumpets are, are reverse compatible uh, between this two this two kind of model families of carbs um, they, they 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 are the same length um, so so that's why they kind of fit the same application however as you can see um, if I can put it like this the Delorto carb is slightly taller than the Weber carb because it has this um, choke tower that, that kind of protrudes out of the unit and that's something that may be a bit of an issue in applications where you're very close to the bonnet um, of the car sh shutting here while so, while so Weber might be able to, to go like this um, I mean it's just a very tiny difference but Hey ho! It it might be be an issue that 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 you might come across. So let let's start going. Let's start going into the now differences between the units. And the main diff one of the one of the differences you can see is the way that the choke actuates. Which in the case of a Weber car, as you see here, this is the this is the choke actuator. Whilst in a in a Delorto, the choke actuates through this tower. The other big difference between these cars is the accelerator bomb circuit. So, as you can see, as you can see here in this in this Weber car, you've got a, like a like a lever for a plunger that's going down there from this from this from this piece here. And basically, if I take the top off, you would see the plunger going down like so. You see, and this, this is the accelerator pump, which is essentially a plunger. So let me try and take it out. There we go. So th this is this is what it is. So this is this is a, a plunger type system, kind of like if it was an Edelbrock carb, that kind of that 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 kind of thing. Um, so. So when you when you uh, when you accelerate, this this basic this plunger goes down, and that's what creates the accelerator pump shot. Now, in Weber cups in particular, there is, and this is a very finicky detail about Weber cups, which is if you look here, there is basically a check valve with a orifice or not in here. And this is what determines the bleed back from the accelerator pump. So this accelerator pump is quite tunable in Weber carbs, and also you've got the similarities in both that they've got different size discharges that go there. Now the accelerator pump on the Delorto is slightly... <laughs> it's one of the things that I like a bit less about it because Essentially, it has this this arm here that is connected to to the throttle uh, to the throttle shaft, and it is a like a two piece. Uh, obviously, as you can see, this one has <laughs> seen better days, but uh, hey, hey ho, 
So this is like a two-piece stamping with with this unit here with a gasket that goes like so. Let's take it out like this, and then a diaphragm that goes here, and this goes on top like so. So one one of one of the things that that that, that I don't particularly like about the the, the Lorto setup for the accelerator pump is that there's there's a lot a lot of gaskets and a lot of potential for leakage of the unit because of the amount of gaskets and they and they perish and look at this um, well this sort of stuff can happen so so that's I think that's something that that I don't I'm not huge I'm a huge I'm not a huge fan uh, of the the Lorto ones now let's let's go inside the units um, in here okay so uh, let's see if we can see it if we, if we can see it this way so so this this bits are for the choke which in in the in the the Lorto ones you've got like a like a jet for a choke whilst one jet for the choke which is central and in Wevers you've got two one for each side uh, these are the accelerator pump kind of check valves which you've got here in a in a in a in a Weber so they are kind of quite the same the these things here these are for the choke there are some pistons that that go up and down. Uh, in the choke, they can be a bit fiddly to take out, and parts are difficult to obtain. So you need to be very, very careful when you um, when you disassemble it. And then let's talk now about the calibratable bits. So this is the stack, the auxiliary venturi, and the choke for a Weber. Uh, let me put the next to it the the, the auxiliary venturi and. Uh, choke for uh, the Lorto and as you can see this there's a slight difference with them and and generally the auxiliary venturis for Webers tend to be a bit longer the chokes a bit shorter and here the chokes are a bit longer and the auxiliary venturis are a little bit shorter yeah so that's a minor difference uh, between them so the other calibratable bits that we could we can we can explore is this. So so this is the idle this is the idle circuit, and one of the things that again uh, I think the Lortos can be a bit problematic is this O-rings that these pieces have here. Now <laughs> um, they can perish, and well so 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 that's a bit of faff. Um, the other thing about the Lortos is that so so let's let's go through the 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 the, the idle circuits uh, one by one. So uh, in Weber carbs there is a common holder for pretty much every single idle jet that you can find. So you've got a forty-five F eight, and the F eight is the correction hole for the air. So you got, is it a 45? Uh, 45, yeah, it is, a, it is a 45 F8. So, but you can change any jet and you can change it and the holder will hold literally any jet. Now, in, in the Lorto cups are slightly different because you can see the jet here, which in this case is a 55, I think. So it's a 55 jet, but the correction, if you look at it, is built in into the holder here. So that means that if I wanted to have a different level of, of air correction for the for the idle, I will need to get this whole piece rather than in the Weber example just that piece. So just this little one here. So that's that, that and that can be a bit of faff when when you're tuning these carbs and the same thing happens with kind of the main jet stack as you can see the 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 Weber uh, main jet stack is a bit taller than the the Lorto one which is here now and here it's it's kind of the same thing happens because if if I open it like this as you can see the air corrector for the Weber is here Th this thing it only acts as a holder 
So I can swap out air correctors in this case is uh, you know, 160. Um, so I can swap them out. I can just take and take them from the top and swap a different one. Same thing with the jets. Put them back in the holder. Just put it back in the car. Now for this ones, the air correction is actually stamped in here. I mean I can't see it because it's a bit um, it's, it's a bit dirty. But basically, if I wanted to change air corrector in in a, in a, in a Delorto car, I need to change this whole unit. Um, and then you've got the emulsion tube and the main jet as if it as pretty much the same as a, as a Weber car. So therefore, this is kind of a bit more fast because this part. Ah, look, here is the number. It's 170. So all of these parts can sometimes mean that it adds a bit of cost to trying to tune these cards. I mean, one one thing that I, that I want to say as a kind of summary is that when I pointed out things I don't like about about each one it's not it's not it's not that I think that they're wrong and I like both of them and I think they're very good at different things so particularly if your car was equipped with the Lorto cups from the factory I would I would advise you to use them um, one thing that I like about the Lorto cars over the the Webers is that the jets are m the the tuning that, that you can achieve is much finer grained than the Webers, so that's an advantage for for the Lorto, and the the emulsion characteristics are a little bit better in the Lorto car. Uh, but again, they are both really good units and both very tunable units. And um, and so th this is gonna um, this is gonna start bring us bring us to the end of this video. Uh, I want to say thank you very much for watching for your comments. Uh, if you can you know hit the like in the video, just ask a question, I'll get back to you. And thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.